So in this video, I'm going to show you a preview of the brand new program, Microsoft Designer. Now, last month I created a video when the designer announcement was first made, and I wondered whether this could be a replacement for Canva. Go ahead and check it out if you're interested. But recently I was given an invite to check out the preview of Microsoft Designer, and that is what I wanna show you today. So let's get started. All you'll have to do is sign in with your Microsoft account, and then immediately you are taken to Microsoft Designer. Now, if you remember from the video last month, one of the ways that Microsoft positioned Designer is that rather than it being a traditional design program, Designer utilizes artificial intelligence to make the design process easy. And that's what you'll see when you first log in because it asks you to create your own content. Now you have a couple different ways to do this. You could start by adding a text statement, which we'll do in a second. You can also start by uploading your own images. So by clicking from this device, that will allow you to choose a file on your computer. And there's also an interesting option where you can upload media from your phone by scanning a QR code which is kind of interesting. And then the other way is a My Media folder, which is basically all of the media that you upload in Microsoft Designer. So what I wanna do is first start with a headline. I'm just going to say happy 30th birthday. Now you'll notice that as I enter that title, Designer is very quickly going to give me some options for designs on the right hand side. Here they are. This gives me an idea of some templates that I can immediately start customizing. Now you do have some options right over here at the top. You can change the color. And you can change the size of your slide. This is a square format. Let's say I want more of a landscape view, almost like a PowerPoint slide. So once you have a template that you think that you may want to customize, select it and click this button at the bottom. A few things that you may notice when you get to this point. First off, just like in PowerPoint, you do have design ideas. So if you're actually looking for more ideas to customize your slide, Designer will give you a few suggestions on the right. Now on the left, you have some options that are very similar to typical design programs, almost like a Canva or even designing inside PowerPoint. You can change some of the colors. You can also establish your own brand, which again is similar to things that you can do in Canva. There's options where you can add additional text including some of these customized fonts. You can also add additional visuals. There is a library of content. You can see some options. There are photos that you can search for. There are also graphics and stickers, things that you can add. You see shapes at the bottom there as well. So lots of content that you could add, of course. You can also upload your own media as well. Now, if you don't like any of those options, you can go in and choose one of these templates to further customize. You have a lot of different options in terms of creating content. So I'm just going to go in and maybe just move this around a little bit. I'll just say this, if I click on text, I can change this to a, a color that maybe will show up. Maybe a little bit better. Let's take that red color, bright red kind of like that. And let's say that this is done. So I'm all finished. And now what I'd like to do is to download this. Now, this one was actually a moving video, I guess a moving image. Once I'm finished, I have the option to download it by clicking that download button. And it's going to give me three different options for this particular image. One is a video. The other is a GIF file. The last one is a still PNG. So I'm going to choose that PNG file and I'm going to select download. And there it is, there is the image that I created just in seconds using Microsoft Designer. Now you will notice that at the bottom right hand corner, it does leave the designer watermark. If I was going to post this on someone's Facebook page to help them celebrate their birthday, I probably don't want that watermark on the bottom right hand side. It is on by default. You do have the option to turn it off. When you click download, there is a button underneath that says remove watermark. Now when I download this, that watermark will not be present. So what I'd like to do is to create a brand new design to show you one of the more interesting features of Microsoft Designer. What you may find sometimes is that the design that you're trying to generate just doesn't come up. So I'm going to do a search for NBA Hall of Fame. 
So this is what Designer was able to come up with. There's some suggestions here that I think are okay, but it's not quite what I'm looking for. That's okay because this is going to give me an opportunity to show you one of the really unique features of Microsoft Designer, and that's the integration with the program DALI, which allows you to create artificial images. So I am going to type in a golden statue of Michael Jordan on a trophy dunking a basketball. Here is what Dali was able to come up with. Some pretty cool images. I'm going to take this one. And then immediately you'll notice that Microsoft Designer is able to take this image and create some designs for me. So I'm just going to take this first one and I'm going to choose Customize Design. Again, this will take me to that same location. And even if I don't want this particular design, I can go over here to where the design ideas are. And you can see there's lots of really great suggestions that it can make for my design, which of course I can then click and download. It's important to note that you may see some changes from the version that's in this video as opposed to the public release of Microsoft Designer that's coming out soon. But for more information, go ahead and check out designer.microsoft.com. You can join the waitlist and hopefully you'll be able to check out Designer for yourself. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave them in the comments section below. Thank you for watching and have a great day.